Welcome to Dunamis Worship Center International. Here, we focus on revealing Jesus to the world and releasing the destinies of men. The Word of God is rightly expounded and we enjoy a deep moment of worship in the presence of the Lord Jesus Christ. We invest quality time in raising leaders and shaping destinies. Revealing the mysteries of the Kingdom of God and enjoy an atmosphere of miracles by the power of God. Here, your thought sound doctrine and raising disciples for the Lord is primordial. In Dunamis, we are one family and we fellowship together. This is a place of encounters and connecting with divinity. Welcome to Dunamis Worship Center International. Here, we focus on revealing Jesus to the world and releasing the destinies of men. The Word of God is rightly expounded and we enjoy a deep moment of worship in the presence of the Lord Jesus Christ. We invest quality time in raising leaders and shaping destinies. Revealing the mysteries of the Kingdom of God and enjoy an atmosphere of miracles by the power of God. Here, your thought sound doctrine and raising disciples for the Lord is primordial. In Dunamis, we are one family and we fellowship together. This is a place of encounters and connecting with divinity.
Lift up your voices and pray. 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 He was wounded for our iniquities. He was wounded for our transgressions. Lift up your voices. Lift up your voices. Lift up we thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Then to a neighbor on the left and on the right and say, Welcome to church. Tell someone, Happy Easter Sunday. Tell someone, The Lord is risen. The Lord is risen. I thought someone would be celebrating. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I thought someone would be celebrating. Amen. Tell someone the Lord is risen. The Lord is risen. Amen. For we are victorious in Christ. Amen. We are victorious in Christ. Amen. We are victorious in Christ. Amen. Can someone celebrate in the house this morning? Amen. We are more than conquerors. Amen. We are more than conquerors. Amen. We are victorious. Can someone celebrate? Can someone celebrate? For Christ in us, there is a hope of glory. For Christ in us, there is a hope of restoration. For Christ in us, there is a hope of breakthrough. Can someone celebrate, Master Jesus? Hallelujah. Someone say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let it come from your heart. Say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I want to give you 30 seconds to thank him from your heart. I want to give you 30 seconds. Just picture your eyes on the cross. Just picture your eyes on the nails that were put on his palms. Avalik over yada. Say, Father, I thank you. Say, Father, I thank you. Say, Jesus, I thank you for taking away my sins. Jesus, I thank you. Jesus, I thank you. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Can you turn to your left and to your right and welcome somebody once more in the house of the Lord? Hallelujah. Amen. Before we have our seat, media, can you give us Genesis chapter 1, verse 27? Genesis chapter 1, verse 27. Genesis chapter 1, verse 27. I'm going to read. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created him, male and female created them. 28. Twenty-eight. And God blessed them and God said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish, over the sea and over the fowl of the air. And over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. Amen. Can we have our beautiful seat in the house? So I'm just going to take some few minutes and give us a brief exaltation. Hallelujah. So from Genesis, we come to realize that when God began crafting the earth by his word, hallelujah, he spoke forth. The sea, the plants, the animals, the darkness, the light. He spoke them forth into being. But when he came to the time of man, 
the Bible makes us to understand that he breathed his breath into us. Hallelujah. Into our lungs, he breathed in his breath. Amen. So this is just to tell us how special we were in the eyes of God. Amen. How special we were in the eyes of God. And from this, we understood that when God created man, God gave us dominion. Hallelujah. God gave us dominion. And the creation of man was not like a person creating a sort of a mechanical robot. Hallelujah. It was not in that perspective. One of the primary reasons why God created man was for fellowship. Hallelujah. One of the primary reasons why God created man was for fellowship. For scripture says that every now and then he came into the garden. He fellowship with Adam. He spoke with him. He communion with him. Hallelujah. But he realized that he was not coming as often as he needed. So he saw that Adam needed someone that will fellowship, will be his companion. Every time when he's not around. Amen. That's when, the, that's when Eve came into the picture. Hallelujah. That's when came, Eve came to the picture because God realized that Adam needed someone to continually fellowship with him. Continually talk with him, share with him. Amen. So after this, let's see what happened. Major, can you give us Genesis chapter 3? This is where the craftiness of an animal called a serpent, which was a representative of the devil. Hallelujah. So this is where the downfall of man began. And now this existed, this came into place because God gave us the, a free will. Like I earlier said, God creating man was not like a, someone creating a mechanical robot. Hallelujah. We are like God. He created us in his image. Amen. So now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. And he said unto the woman, Ye had God said, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden. The next verse. And the woman said unto the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden. But of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God had said, We shall not eat of it, neither shall we touch it, lest he die. Hallelujah. So one of the greatest problems here was that she began negotiating with the wrong person. Hallelujah. She was negotiating with the wrong person. She was full aware that God told them not to eat of a particular tree. So once you have known the truth, there are places and environment where you should not start negotiating, where you should not argue. Once you know the truth, you flee away from what is not right. Hallelujah. From when you start negotiating, when you start thinking, should I do this, should I not do this? That is where you start falling. Because when Eve encountered the serpent and she knew the truth and she just spoke the truth and left that sin, it would have ended there. Hallelujah. But when you start negotiating, more reasons will be given unto you to compromise. Because I bet you the devil also knows the word. Hallelujah. The devil also knows the word. And now the challenge here was that Eve was not well crafted in the word. Hallelujah. She was limited. The same thing happened to the second Adam. That was Jesus. But scripture said, how did Jesus overcome the temptation when he was in the wilderness? Bible said he used the word, it is written. Hallelujah. He said, it is written. It is written. It is written. He said that to read time. But Eve was limited of the word. We should not negotiate. Hallelujah. So this is where the fall of man began. And we all know what happened. The devil was able to convince her. And there is something that always happened. You know, when the devil brings some things to you, 
He always brings you the bright side of it. Hallelujah. He brings you the front picture. He never shows you what is attached unto that. Bible says do not steal. Do not fornicate. Do not lie. When those situations will present themselves in front of you, it will not present itself as lies telling. It will not present itself as fornication. It will not present itself as backbiting. The devil always have a way to cut them off. That's why the Bible says he was more subtle than every other animal. Hallelujah. So that's why once you know the truth, don't negotiate. Someone tell your neighbor, don't negotiate. Don't negotiate. Media, can you give us Romans chapter 5 verse 12? Romans chapter 5 verse 12. Wherefore, as by one man sin entered into the world, and death by sin, and so death passed upon all men, so that all have sinned. Hallelujah. So by one man, that was Adam and Eve. Hallelujah. So through them, sin entered into the world. And because of them, automatically, we were all sinners hallelujah automatically we were all sinners so by one man sin came into the world so the expectation here was that by another man sin should be taken out of the world can someone celebrate jesus can someone celebrate jesus so sin was brought into the world by one man so this means that the same vessel that brought sin was the same vessel that was supposed to take out sin. Hallelujah. So that's why Jesus came into the picture. And dead by sin and dead passed on to all men. For that all men sinned. For sin is an element that compromises the flesh. Hallelujah. When you sin, your flesh is being affected the vessel is being affected so now for that sin to be taken away we need the same flesh to take it away hallelujah we need the same flesh to take it away there now can you give us uh let's go to john hallelujah john chapter 19 verse 30 John chapter 19 verse 30. When Jesus therefore had received the vinegar, he said it is finished and bowed his head and gave up the ghost. Hallelujah. I think we went far ahead. But now after the sin, after the falling of man, Jesus came into the picture. Amen. Jesus came into the picture. And before Jesus came, there was a prophet that was sent to prophesy his coming. Isaiah spoke about Jesus. Hallelujah. John said he came to prepare the way for Jesus. We had Elizabeth and scripture said this is a woman that almost all her life she was interceding for the coming of this Messiah. Hallelujah. So before Jesus came into the picture, his coming was already prophesied. His coming was revealed by God to his prophet. We had intercessors that were already praying and preparing the way for this man to come. We had men like John that were already informing the people. were already preparing the heart of people about the coming of our Lord. Amen. And when Jesus came, he did what he had to do. By the power of God, he healed the sick. He delivered those who were in captivity. He baptized. He brought soul to Christ. To, to, to God. Hallelujah. And all those. And after that now. His main assignment. Was to cleanse us. From that sin. Amen. So Jesus is known as the second Adam. As sin came through the first Adam. Sin had to be taken out. By the second Adam. So that was the assignment of Jesus. And Bible says here that when Jesus Christ therefore had received the vinegar, 
he said it is finished and he bowed down his head and gave up the ghost he said it is finished why did he have to say this word hallelujah why did jesus have to use the term it is finished he understood his assignment he understood the course he had to follow he had challenges he had difficulties he had a lot of reasons to give up but he went through the course hallelujah and on that faithful day when he completed he said it is finished he said it is finished and scriptures tell us there is no condemnation for those that are in christ jesus because he said it is finished he said it is finished so we are therefore no longer condemned we are therefore no longer condemned as believers and as children of God. Can you just rise upon your feet this morning? Just rise upon your feet and begin to bless the name of the Lord. Begin to thank Him. Thank you, Jesus, for taking away my sins. Thank you, Father, for making me whole. Lift up your voices and bless God this morning. Lift up your voices and bless the Father. Lift up your voices and bless the Father. Lift up your voices and bless Him. Lift up your voices and bless His holy name. Lift up your voices and say thank you, Lord. Lift up your voices and say thank you, Lord. Say thank you, Father. Say thank you, Father. Say thank you, Father. For making me whole again. For making me whole again. For making me whole again. For the forgiveness of sins. For the forgiveness of sin. Jesus, I say thank you. In the name of Jesus. And I want to tell us this. Every time we sin, it is like we are giving Jesus that same vinegar that was given unto him. Hallelujah. Every time we sin, we are, we are reinforcing the nails that were put on his palms. Hallelujah. Amen. Just lift up your voice and cry for mercy. For Bible says all have sinned and fallen short of his glory. We are not ignorant of the dead of Christ. We are not ignorant of his mercy. But shall man continue to sin that mercy may abound. Lift up your voices and cry for his mercy. Lift up your voices and cry for his mercy. Say, Father, show me mercy. Say, Father, show me mercy. Say, Father, show me mercy. Lord, show me mercy. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Are you excited to be here? Oh, yeah. Are you excited for the resurrection? You see, this morning, God is checking intentions. God is checking motives. You see, what most of us, we don't know what it cost Jesus for us to be called Christians. So we live our lives anyhow, irrespective of the consequence. We live our lives anyhow. We talk anyhow. We say, uh, sometimes we say, uh, 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 let's put this Christianity aside because we don't know what it cost him. Can we have Galatians 2 verse number 20? Is the summary, is the summary of the whole Bible. Galatians 2 verse number 20. La zuzka prande la uza. You see, every record the devil have against you has been nailed on the cross. It's useless because of today. Every record the devil hold against you. Every record that Sangoma hold against you. Every record that voodoo man hold against you. Every record your auntie hold against you. In the spirit realm. You see, because I, I noticed there is so much struggle in the spirit realm. People don't know what it cost Jesus for us to be called Christian today. So we live our lives anyhow. But by reason of this resurrection, Every record Satan is holding against you is useless today. Amen. You see, his language compels 
attention. If you are working in New York City or you are working in Maryland, and, and let me use this example, and then you are working and somebody is speaking, um, 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 Timney, or somebody is speaking, I don't know, uh, 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 whatever language that, that, that is your language. You see, in, normally you, you will just turn because why? That is your language. So because of this resurrection, whether you like it or not, you are seated in heavenly places. You are seated above. Why? Because of resurrection. So you are not permitted to be lost in the crowd. You are not permitted to be pity. Why? Because you are seated with him in heavenly places. So this morning, we are going to be lifting up our voice. That Father in the name of Jesus. Say Father in the name of Jesus. Say thank you for crucifixion. Thank you for crucifixion. Somebody should open their mouth and begin to pray. Jesus, we thank you for resurrection. We thank you for crucifixion. Thank you for putting me above. Thank you for putting me above. Somebody should pray. Somebody should pray. Apply your name. You are sitting above. You are sitting above. You are not permitted to be lost in the ground. You are not permitted to be in a flow. You are not permitted to be in the middle. Above body. Above body. Above body. Above body. And shepherd your name. Shepherd your name. Jesus, we thank you for crucifixion. We thank you for today. We thank you for your name. You are seated above. You are seated above. You are seated above. You are not permitted to be lost in the ground. You are not permitted to be in the middle. Somebody should pray. Somebody should pray. Above body. Above body. Above body. You are not permitted to be lost in the ground. You are not permitted to be in the middle. You are seated. Above. You are seated. Above. You are seated. Above. You are seated. Above. You are seated. You are not permitted to be lost in the ground. You are not permitted to be in the back. You are seated above Jesus. We thank you for resurrection. We thank you for crucifixion. We thank you for today. We thank you for today. Let's pray today. The pain is over because of today. The sorrow is over because of today. You are seated. You are not permitted to be lost in the ground. You are not permitted to be buried. You are not permitted to be jobless. Why? Above Molly. Above Molly. You are seated. Above Molly. Above Molly. You are seated. Above Molly. Above Molly. It is not I. But Christ that lives in me. It is not I. But Christ that lives in me. Jesus. I thank you. I thank you for resurrection. I thank you for the crucifixion. As a pioneer, you are not permitted to be in the back. You are not permitted to be lost in the ground. Above Molly. Above Molly. Above Molly. Above Molly. And Shafuya Day. You are not permitted to be jobless. You are not permitted to be buried in Shepard Yane. The pain is over. The sorrow is over. Asaye, Asaye, you are seated with Christ. You are seated with Christ in Shepard Yane. Arakaswane, Ebar Yane. For in Jesus' mighty name. For in Jesus' mighty name.
you see, the Bible makes us to understand because of this resurrection, there was a time Jesus entered Jerusalem. But yet, there was a time he entered Jericho. There was a time he entered Galilee. There was a time he entered Bethlehem. But this time around, the Bible makes us to understand that he entered Jericho. What does Jericho mean? Jericho mean the city of consolation. Because of this resurrection, consolation will be your portion in the name of the Lord Jesus. You have been ridiculed for too long. You have been looked down for too long. You have been criticized for too long. But because of today, the power of God will console you. The resurrection will console you. The love of God will console you. The power of God will console you. The mercy of God will console you. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus. Say, My Father, my Father. Say, My Father, my Father. In the name of Jesus. In the, in the name of Jesus, by the resurrection, by the resurrection, console me, console me, console me, console me. You don't need a job, you don't need marriage, you need consolation, you need consolation. You have been weeping for too long, you have been crying for too long, you have been in isolation for too long. But all you need is consolation. All you need is consolation. But by reason of this resurrection, the love of God will console you. The power of God will console you. The mercy of God will console you. In Bariane, the pain is over. The weeping is over. Jesus, console your church. Console your church. Console your church. Console your church. We are weeping for too long. We have been crying for too long. Console us. Console us. Console us. Console your church. 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 The pain is over. The weeping is over. The ridicule is over. Jesus. By reason of this resurrection, Console your church. Console your church. The weeping is over. The pain is over. The write off is over. The ridicule is over. Jesus. By your mercy. Console me. Console your church. Console me. Console your church. Console me. Console your church. It's a prayer day. If you need the consolation of the Holy Ghost. If you need the consolation of Jesus, console me, console me, console me, console me, console your church, console your church, console your church, console your church, console your people, console your church. Somebody should pray that the Holy Ghost will console you. The love of God will console you. For in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. For in Jesus' mighty name. In Mark chapter number 5 and verse number 25. If you read all the way down, the Bible introduced to us a woman that was going through hemorrhage for 12 years. She was a write-off. She was she, she was not counted in society. Ariane. The Bible makes us understand this woman was very wealthy. She was very wealthy. She keeps on paying doctors upon doctors. She keeps on paying doctors. She went to all manner of sangomas. She went to all manner of voodoo's. And then she was a write-off. She gave up the Israel. She gave up everything. And the Bible makes us understand. Instead of her to be getting better, the Bible says she had a good worst. Imagine you are going to the doctor. You are going to, to see some voodoo men. Instead of it to get better. The 
Bible said you gotta go worse. And she became very poor. And then she said, I am tired of Dunamis. I am tired of Prophet Pascal. No, I don't, I don't want to go to church anymore. Every day is the same story. Every day is the same thing. So one day, if you read verse number 27 of the same scripture, the Bible says, she heard of Jesus. And she said, I am tired. They said, no, this one loves us. This one loves you. He touched a leopard. He said, oh, okay. If he touched a leopard, that means he really, he really loves me. And the Bible says, she forced herself into the crowd and she touched his garment and she was made whole. And she was made whole. And she was made whole. I don't know where, whatever you're going through today. Maybe, maybe you are going through crisis in your marriage. Maybe at your job site. Maybe in your family. But this morning, God will make you whole. Amen. Jesus will make you whole. Somebody should pray. Say, my father, my father. Say, my father, my father. Say, my father, my father. By reason of this resurrection. By reason of this resurrection. Say, make me whole. Make me whole. Make me whole. Make me whole. See, Jesus doesn't heal. He makes you whole. Jesus doesn't heal. He makes you whole. Your spirit, soul, and body. He makes it whole. Say, my father, my father. Say, my father, my father. Say, by your resurrection. Make me whole. Make me whole. I don't know the pain that you are having in your mortal body. I don't know the pain that you are having in your physical body. But this morning, Jesus is meeting your pain. Jesus is extending the weeping. Somebody should pray.
lifted up. There is no one like you. See, hallelujah. to 
We're coming to life. If you are excited on this Easter Sunday and you are excited that Jesus rose from the dead to save you, to give you victory, give the Lord a shout of praise, somebody. to be in church on resurrected morning give him a shout of praise wherever you are give him praise shed the hands of people five people around you and tell them welcome to your resurrection season where every dead thing is coming to life welcome Watch him 
me wherever you are. Do likewise. If you are watching me online and you are still at home, this is a moment for you to, to rush here in person and be part of the service this morning. Somebody, let's make it loud. Let's make it loud. Let's make it loud. The louder the better. Make it for you where we will have been if not for your mercy and your grace you shed on the cross of Calvary who would I have been if not of your blessings your protection your preservation where else would I have oh if you know the blood of Jesus but for you then you can be normal is bad if you lack expectation you won't see manifestation if you lack expectation you won't see the hand of God and I believe God that this service is meant for you amen. oh that amen looks like you didn't come to church amen. if you know it's Easter you will do it better amen. see there, there, there are there are things that people celebrate. Bear with me, please. Bear with me wherever you are. Hear me. Kuti Baka. Celebrations are of importance. Somebody shout importance. Important. And because celebrations are of importance, you must give that which is of high value a higher preference. 
you must give it a higher accolade. You must give it a higher preference of celebration. We thank God that Jesus was born. But if he, if he was born and he died like any other person, it would be normal. But he was born. He didn't just die, but he died in a special way. Dying to save humanity from eating sin and iniquities. Dying to be able to defeat death and showing us that indeed he was not ordinary, but God. And that is why we give God praise this morning. That is why we are gathered here to celebrate the resurrection Sunday. Praise God. For one minute, I want you, if you know how to clap, I want you to clap it and make it loud to the Lord this morning. It's a service with a high preference. Whoa! Hallelujah! Woo! Keep on the mokosha. Keep on the mokosha. Keep on the mokosha. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So, we are exceedingly glad this morning for what God is doing. And I believe, God, that your life and destiny would not be the same again in Jesus' mighty name. So, please, have your seat briefly. Just briefly. Have your seat briefly. Once again, we want to celebrate God for everybody worshiping with us this morning. You're welcome into God's presence. If you're still watching me, watching me at home or still in your camp, rush here, join us and be part of such a glorious thing God is set to do this morning. I've said it time and time again that God will do nothing if, if man is not available. It is illegal for spirits to operate on the earth. The only legality to operate on the earth is to be in human form. And that is why even God could not save the earth in the form of a spirit. He had to save it in the form of what? A man. That is why Jesus had to become born like him because they are lost on the earth. The Bible says in Genesis chapter 1, it says, and God gave man dominion over the earth. Over the earth. And over everything within the earth. So he released. You know what it means to say, I give you power? It means you can take decision on my behalf. There's something that is called legal representation. A person who is your legal representation has the right to sign a document on your behalf. To take any action based on your interest. So can you see the power you, you carry? God says, I give you my authority. Make decisions. Oh, I, I feel like I'm preaching to myself. Dying on the cross of Calvary, lavish again once more that authority and power to them, to man. Because remember, Jesus one day walking with his disciples, he told them his, his story. He said, remember, I'm soon going to leave you. You know what some of them responded? They said, no, master, never. He says, no, but don't be worried. Because if I'm going, I'm not leaving you empty. Is it Mr. Vincent? Uh, Lawrence, sorry. Sir Lawrence. He said, Jesus says, I'm not leaving you empty. I'm giving you what is called what? The power of the Holy Ghost. He says, and with this thing, greater things than what I did, you will do. The power of the Holy Ghost. What? He says, for now, the same power that raised Jesus from the dead is not around you. It lives. <laughs> the same power that was walking on the resurrection morning that came to the grave where Jesus was buried, took him out. Ro rolled away the big stone. Is the same power. He says, I am vested upon everyone who say and call me Lord. Is somebody with me? So, imagine the resurrection is not just in vain. It is to lavish what we call the supreme power of God over humans. 
believe that what is inside of me is, is, is so big that no witch can hold me bound. That there is, see, but don't say this without having to have placed yourself in God. So there is a, a power that rests in you called the authority of God. So you have what is called, let me go back to the beginning thing I began to explain to us, that there's what we call legal word. Somebody say it to me again, legal word. Representation. representation. Legal representation means the court or you have bestowed your full right on another person to take decision take actions on I believe that is it right on your behalf so imagine God saying Mr. Joseph I give you my legal rights that on the earth in the heavenly realms in the earth realm and within the earth make decisions as it will please me God You know what that means? It means if you say today, Satan, you have no rule over this, but you don't just say it based on your ideology, you are saying it from the revelation of who is backing you. You know, let me share to you a little story. Some people relate very well to this. Where I come from, I come from a very funny kind of a world of, of life where your authority is not based on who you are. Is on who you know. Is somebody with me? Your authority is not based on who you are. It's on who you know. So if they, if an officer arrests you on the way, you contact who you know. Are you relating with me? If you enter into an office, you are not presenting your identity. You are presenting who you And that is all. You just present. You, do you know what it means for the president to sign a document and give you? When you go, they, you don't call your name. They, this is who I represent. So that is, the problem is that you have been struggling to put your own name in front. It's not your name. It's his name that must go in front. Because when his name goes in front, even Satan begins to give way. And say, I have no power to hold this one Yes, down. Jesus. I have no power. So, the focus is putting... See, that is the secret of opening any door. Of silencing the hand of Satan. Is presenting him before. Because when... Like as I said, where I come from, they don't care who you are. But once you represent who you, 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 when you present who you represent, they respect you. You know, I, I, where I come from is very funny. Is that a cops catch you and you, 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 you can make a call to a higher authority, and once the cops yes. The higher authority's voice. You do sha sha. I say go. <laughs> Let me show you the second example still on that. On how authority works. Is that see this? He takes your document. He sees your name. And he sees a name. Related to another name. Which he knows that that name is of importance. And he asks you, he says, are you related to this? Once you say yes, he says go. He, he just needs to see your name and see ABC Atangaji. And he asks you, is Mr. Atangaji your brother? You say yes. He says, okay, go. You know why he's letting you go? Because he knows this one, if I disturb him, he's trouble. Not trouble from him, but for who he represents. That is why, when Satan meets you, you don't present your identity. You say, Satan, you know who I represent? My last name is Pascal Kamga Jesus. So, when I'm presenting myself, for he says, 
He that is in Christ is a new. All all things. So you, a new creature you become is that you have taken part of his identity. You carry a part of his identity. That new creature is that he has brought you into his family. He has made you now to become part of him. So you are not just from Awin. You are from Awin, connected to the tribe of Jesus. You are not just from Sierra Leone. You are from Sierra Leone, connected to the tribe of Jesus. Because now we have all become one family. Not by my family, but through Christ. We have become one family because of what? So our identity that connects an American, connects a, 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 a man from the Middle East, somebody from Europe, somebody from Africa, all is what? Our identity that brings us together, that we are able to sit in this same room and listen to the same gospel. It is not our governmental similarities. It is not our tribal similarities. No, it is for the sake of Christ. So that means that we have an identity among each and every one of us that represents what? Oh, preach it to me. That's all. That's all. So, Jesus dying and resurrecting is to give us an identity in him. That's what the Bible, I love what Philippians 2 2, 2, 9 and 10 says. Philippians chapter 2 verse 9 and 10. Very amazing scripture. To show you that this life, name is important. Name is important. From the name you give your child. You, you know that no matter the name you give you, you give yourself. But the first name you got was people give it to you. Have you ever seen a child who says, they give birth to the child, say, your child says, call me this. No, it's always the parents or the people around that give the name to the, to the child. It says, for wherefore, God highly exalted him and gave him a, gave him a name that is above every name. Go now to 10. It says, that at the mention of the name of what? What will happen? No, just pause. Just pause there. It just keeps to tell us that in heaven, in earth, and within the earth. So, you can just imagine. It says every knee. Do you know what it means every knee? It means every knee. That no name can stand. Cancer can stand. What they call... Um, I don't like that sickness. I don't, I, sometimes even... Autism, it bows. Cancer, bows. Fibroid, bows. Disappointment, bows. Stagnation, bows. Ovariances, bow. Fibroid, bow. So anything that, and remember, there's nothing on the earth that doesn't have a name. That's why no matter how your sickness is, the doctors must attribute it to a, to a name. Say this one is Ostustustus. They, they will try by all means to re, every situation is represented and Jesus now God says I now give a name that is above that if that name is called any name shall bow whether on earth whether under the earth is somebody getting me the name shall what I pray for someone hearing my voice that at the name of Jesus today yes, Lord. Every knee ah. in your family, yes, Lord. in your family, yes, Lord. in your life, every name yes, Lord. that has stood ah. as an authority, yes, today it bows. Amen. Today it bows. It bows. Today it bows. It bows. Today it bows. Amen. Somebody shall I receive. I receive. Stand on your feet and lift up your hands to heaven. I pray this exalts your spirit. I pray this opens you up to this service today. Kura Mafa. Are you ready? I want us to take two prayer. Oh God. 
release your dominion once again upon my life. Meaning, give me that legal right to represent you on it. Release your dominion. Kuta, are you ready to pray? Lift up your right hand. Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. I can't hear your voice. Say it, shout it loud. My father, my father. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Release your authority. Release your authority. Release your dominion. Release your dominion. Upon my life. Upon my life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say on this resurrection morning. On this resurrection morning. I receive divine authority. I receive divine authority. I receive divine dominion. I receive divine dominion. Lift up your voice and come back to me. Fate satava. Rebebe papo shatalim. On this resurrection morning, I receive divine dominion. On this resurrection morning, I receive divine power. resurrection power this morning lord i need help help in my family help in my life help in my career mention what you want 
Tell the Lord what you want. Lord, I need help in my finances. Yes, I need help in my ministry. I need help, I need help in my uh, I family. Help, I need help in my the I life of my help, children. Lord. I need help. I need Are you help, ready? Lord. Say, my father, my father. My father, father my father. father. In the name of Jesus. In the name, in the name of Jesus. I cry out for help. I cry out for, for help. By the resurrection power. By the resurrection power. Upon my family. Upon my family. Upon my life. Upon my life. Upon this ministry. Upon this ministry. Upon my destiny. Upon my destiny. so strong in this service amen so you want to make sure we have a lot very entertaining very amazing and you don't want to miss out with so if you have your phone get it please get your phones if you can someone can help me with my phone so let's have it all of us we are going to So spread the video, spread it, spread it. Hey, Kuta, did someone get that for me? Kuta, Bada. I pray as you spread the video, let the Lord bless you immensely in the name of Jesus. If you're doing that, you can do it quickly. Do, we have, do I have it? I don't have it. It should be inside. Someone can get that for me. So if you're watching me online, take charge to do that. Remember, Jesus needs to be known and heard of that he's no longer in the grave. He has resurrected. He has resurrected. All right, let's do that one minute before we be up for our awesome moment of praise and worship and I believe God that your life will never be the same again are you doing that are you doing that are we spreading the video this is resurrection morning so you can do it even hundred times Amen. Uh, I'm not. I'm not hearing your voice. Yes, you can do it as many times as as possible. It's resurrection morning. It's new. It's, it's Easter morning, and you want to be great. I remember. <laughs> Easter period when we're growing up in church is very interesting, very amazing. So click the like button, everybody. Spread that video. Let somebody know that we are live on now and God is up to something powerful. Praise God. That God is up to something what? Send it. Some people, please, I want to give this um, um, this note out. 
you know many times remember that God moves when we gather amen there are things that if I request that someone should reach out to me then okay they should try to get not just to call on the phone remember that there are things which are spiritual we don't just communicate through the phone praise God it's essential that if I locate somebody by prophecy or stuff like that let them struggle to make it themselves in service maybe next or whenever in their lifetime they'll be available to come for the prayer praise God except otherwise I request that I need to pray for them over through the, the is somebody listening to me because we have over commonized spiritual things I, I, am I talking to somebody so unless it is requested for me that okay but if not please let them come to service let's enjoy God and see what God will do amen all right quickly we'll welcome the choir celebrate God and be in your feet as we welcome the choir and celebrate God this morning for what God is said to do so be with your feet give Jesus a shout of praise somebody Let's be on our feet. Let's be on our feet. How can we be excited? Is Easter morning looking like like judgment morning? Is Easter morning? Be on your feet. Give God a praise.
That situation is coming back to life. Is it that sickness you are receiving your healing right now? He says that thing he died, he closed the gate. He gave us victory. Oh, my God, Shabbat at the foot of the cross, you paid it all for me. Your broken body proves your love for me. On the third day, you rose. I hear a sound of victory. Now I the foot of the cross you paid it all for me your broken body put your love for me on the third day Jesus you rose I hear a sound of victory now I can scream I am You are good. You are good. You are kind. You are kind. 
did it all for me. Your broken body proves how much you love me. On the third day, you conquer that. I hear a sound of victory. That's why I can scream this morning. Hi, hi, hi. That's why I'm shouting this morning. That's why I'm screaming this morning. Because I am free. Because I am free. I don't know about you this morning. But this day, Jesus gave me victory. Hey, come on, don't go shower. Sickness is bound. Problems bound. Poverty bound. Everything that is going down. The Bible says, at the mention of the name of Jesus, Worship him.
Somebody just worship the Lord. We say thank you. Just say thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Is someone ready to praise Master Jesus? Is someone ready to praise Master Jesus? He is risen. Say he is risen. Are you ready to dance? Come on. Come on. Let me see your style. Hallelujah. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on.
wonderful, powerful celebration of Easter. Can we just put our hands together and celebrate the King of Kings? Can you be, do it better for Master Jesus? Hallelujah. Is someone ready this morning? Is someone ready this morning now? Hallelujah. This is our Easter Sunday. This is the resurrection day of Christ. Hallelujah. And it is our faith, it is our belief that everything that has been dead in your life by the reason of this service this morning, it will be resurrected together with Christ in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Can we put our hands together for the choir, for the powerful one? Thank you very much. Very quickly, um, announcement. Please meet here if you can work with us. Um, we have our program in Cameroon. Wonders of Worship. I believe media is going to display the program. Yes, we have Wonders of Worship, um, Cameroon edition that is going to be in Yaoundé. Please, can you make a joyful noise? Can you celebrate our own? Hallelujah. Yes, so the date is there. It is going to be on the 5th of May. If you have anyone in Cameroon from Yaoundé or all around Yaoundé, please um, do well to invite them and share the flyer with them. It is going to be on Friday, on Sunday, the 5th of May, 2024. Hallelujah. And it is going to be in Yaoundé. Please, um, let's endeavor to push that flyer on the forum so that everyone have it. Hallelujah. Amen. Is there any youth in the house? Yeah. If you are a youth, can you shout, oh yeah? yeah. Youth, oh yeah? yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah, so it is, that, it is that time of the year, and we will be having another edition of the Youth Retreat. Hallelujah. Yes, I see beautiful and handsome faces, and I know this is a, a, youth, a church of youth. Hallelujah. So please, make sure that you mark your calendar. Make sure that you mark your calendar. It is going to be in July, Friday till Sunday. Hallelujah. From the 26th to the 28th. Praise Master Jesus. If you're excited about that, can you shout, Master Jesus? Can you shout, hallelujah? hallelujah. Yes, please. Registration is still ongoing. Please, can you still display the flyers there? Um, for viewers online, um, I know there are many youths that are not here. Those are the numbers there. If you want to reach out to register for the program, we would like to make sure that we start registering now and so that we are preparing ahead of time for it. Hallelujah. Yes, so please um, make sure that you all attend this edition. Hallelujah. I'm going to be following yours. I'm going to be following each and every youth in Dunamis. This program is highly recommended for all of us. Hallelujah. It is a moment where we take time and, and spend time with God, spend time with each other, and, you know, we go deep into the world and we go deep into knowing each other. And we have been very privileged to have the presence of our prophet and our pastor, Pastor Emmanuel, throughout these last editions. And we just want to say thank you. I will believe that this year it is going to be on another level. Hallelujah. Are you expecting for that? Hallelujah. And um, very quickly, we have one testimony this morning. Testimony time. Testimony time. Um, yes, uh, our mommy, mommy Charlotte here, she's thanking God for what God has done in her life. Can we just celebrate the God of Dunamis? Yes, she said on Friday, if you were here on Friday service, um, when Prophet Lukede had, um, he said there was a woman here suffering with hemorrhage, and she indicated that she was the one. And she said that before she came to service that day, she was going through a lot. In her, her mindset, health-wise, it was just overwhelming her. And she said that when she came to church, she doesn't know at one point, all the weight was just lifted from her. And she just felt that freedom. She felt light. She felt that sickness just left her body. And then she said, Prophet, locate her, her with a word. And she's confirming the word that that word was true. And Prophet prayed for her. And she believed that the healing has been administered in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Can we just pray for this testimony? Father, Lord Jesus, we say thank you, O oh God. Throughout this week, we've been seeing your hand mightily in this place. 
and will give you all the glory. Lord God, we thank you for this testimony. We thank you, oh God, for all the testimonies, Lord God, that you've been recording in our midst. And we'll give you all the glory. We cover the testimonies in the blood of Jesus. And we pray that may you open room for more testimonies in our lives in the name of Jesus. Somebody give a Lord a mighty shout of praise this morning. If you are a believing believer, this is resurrection morning. Can you jump up on your feet and say, Jesus is risen again. In our midst, Jesus is risen. Say, in our midst this morning, Jesus is risen. Amen and amen. Tell somebody, happy Easter, happy Easter. God bless you, God bless you. Everything, every dead thing has come alive by reason of this encounter this morning. Amen and amen. Even while we do that, I want to welcome Titus this morning. If you are here and you want to uh, partake in the, in the worship of our God via your thighting, I want to invite you to come forward this morning. Let me pray with you. Let us do that quickly so that we can um, transition into the next phase of our service. Amen. Please, if you are tight, rush forward. Rush forward. A tithe is a tenth of that which God has blessed you. In any way God has increased you, come forward this morning so we can offer unto the Lord. Media, you want to display the various mediums via which even those who are watching online can partake in this. You want to honor God in that regards. We have Cash App, we have Zell, and we have the church website via which you can partake of this. Amen. If you're coming, we are waiting for you. 30 more seconds. And white titles are in front here, please. If you're sitting down, begin to package your offering as well because after this, we will move on to that. Hallelujah. All right. You can... Can we lift up that tithe and just speak unto it? Say, Lord, I give from a place of love and understanding. Receive it this morning. It is a privilege to give in the name of Jesus. Father, thank you for this one that have submitted themselves and come to boot at your altar. May you receive it in the name of Jesus Christ we give this morning. Amen and amen. Please, you can drop your tithe. God bless you richly. You can put it right in the offering box right here, right in here. Thank you. Amen and amen. Can we jump up on our feet even as we give our offerings this morning? The choir is going to give us a powerful one and we are going to circle. The bowl is going to go around for us to give. Amen. All right. You look so beautiful in your traditional regalias, by the way. So dance and give unto God. Like an African man, an African woman, Asian, European, whatever. Amen. All right, over to the choir. I will celebrate my God. I will celebrate my God. Let he power be raised and his glory be seen. I will celebrate my God. I will celebrate Jehovah. I will celebrate Yahweh.
an amen. amen. So this morning is a very special morning because it is our Heritage Sunday. Amen. Somebody say Heritage Sunday. Heritage. Ask your neighbor, do you know where you come from? Amen. The Bible says in Revelation chapter 7, Revelation chapter 7 verse 9, it says, After this, I looked and behold a great multitude that no one could number. From every nation, from all tribes, and all people and languages standing before the throne and before the Lamb clothed in white robes with palm branches in their hands. Amen. Amen. So it is no coincidence that our Heritage Sunday is on Easter morning when Jesus arose from the grave. So this morning we, we, we have a culture in church in this, uh, in this commission where we represent our various uh, tribes and where we come from because God is honored in diversity. Amen. So that is if, you're, if it's your first time in our midst and you're wondering why we are all dressed like this today, it's because we came representing our very own tribes. Amen. Do we have a wonder people in this house this morning? Make some noise. <laughs> oh, we do? <laughs> Hallelujah. So we are going to generalize it. Do we have people from Yaoundé? The center region, if you are from the center region, make some noise of Cameroon. Amen. I see you there. Do we have the Bamilekes in the house? Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. I see some women that are Bamileke and they are getting married in other tribes and they are still shouting. Don't anger your husband too. Hallelujah. Do we have Batibos in the house? <laughs> Hallelujah. Do we can we can we can we travel out of Cameroon before we come back? Hallelujah. Do we have Celia Leonans in the house? Woo! <laughs> of course we do. Of course we do. Of course we do. Let us come to the land where we are right now. Do we have Americans in the house? Yeah. I am. Yeah. Americans make some noise. Yeah. We celebrate this great land. We celebrate this great land. Do we have some Awing people in this house this morning? Oh, yes. If you are from Awing, jump up on your feet. Stand tall like myself. Yeah. Stand tall like myself. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. I stand as a representative. Praise Master Jesus. Time will fail me to go around, but this is to make us know how diverse we are, but we are united in Christ Jesus. Amen. So we are going to represent our various... Oh! Liberia. Oh, Niger. Oh, my... Now we are going to we are going to ask Nigerians to stand up tall. We are going to start from the Igbo land, from Igbo land, Igbo land, Anambra. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Somebody make some noise Mama for Nigeria. the faces to identify oh <laughs> I was supposed to combine Awing and Akum together but if you are from Akum in this house please stand up on your feet and make some noise <laughs> amen <Smaller than. laughs> hallelujah you know Can you help me with the list? I know I know they gave an announcement during the week that you had to give your tribe's name, give your song, because after this, we are doing the thanksgiving. Every tribe will come out, dance to their song, 
and offer unto God. Amen. So if there is a list, please hand that to me. You know, normally we always generalize not Westerners are Westerners, so to go by these names is not easy. But God is granting me grace this morning. I heard one tribe the other day. Is it Chomba or what was that again? Hey, that name, you see, Mama? If you are going to Chomba, make some noise. <laughs> Amen. I believe Chombang is close to Akum Awing and the Santa area. Am I right? Oh, it's Songwa. Oh, okay. Okay, my 19 Songwa. Oh, okay. Praise Master Jesus. <laughs> if we want to go to Batibo and distinguish Besi, Guzang and all that, we, we oh my God, please. Time will fail us. Amen. But now I want us to start, I want us to start with the <laughs> no, we are not going to start with the Bamile case. Amen. They are a very special tribe, and we are going to come to them very soon. Hallelujah. But let us start from those who are least represented to those who are most represented. Is that okay if we do that? Hallelujah. So let us start with uh <laughs> Sierra Leone, and you guys come representing your all right. All right, let us give honor to whom honor is due if you are from the United States of America. I want you to rise up on your feet and we are going to proceed from outside there. Hallelujah. And we are going to take an American song. Amen. I'm trading my sorrows. I'm trading my shame for the joy of the Lord this morning. Oh, there's a song already. Okay, please. Media, you can give us the song even as Americans like us, we are going to go from outside and then we will come in and offer unto the Lord. Please, if you are not an American and you want to connect to that grace, you can feel free to join and drop into that basket this morning. If you have American citizenship, you are American. Oh, yes. So you must represent America first before you represent the others. Amen. Because that day you were becoming an American citizen, you denounced. So you have to study here. And all those that desire to become Americans, you have to connect to the Americans now. Volume. Then Come on, everybody. Media begin to prepare, begin to prepare. After this, we'll go to the evil. The evils. Somebody celebrate. Praise Master Jesus. So. Please, I understand that some people didn't come prepared, but we have um, uh, mediums there which you can, you can do, do online. You can online. give us the online methods to give. You can swipe your card at the lobby. Just thank God from every land and tribe you're coming from. See, this is an exceptional moment to have in the presence of God. I said earlier that irrespective of our diversities, we are all one in. So we are just saying that in spite of where we come from, we have all stand today to celebrate Jesus. And it's Easter, so we should be happy. Amen? Yes. Play us that song one more time again, please. If you are American here, you have American citizenship, you should celebrate God for you being an American. Praise God. Let's be on our feet so that we'll be dancing all of us together. Thank you.
We declare that God will bless America in Jesus' name. If you are not shouting amen, you're shouting well. God will bless America in Jesus' name. Chief Mama Obi, celebrate God this morning. So you are married to Ibo. You, you desire to marry Ibo on Nigeria. Just do to praise God. This is the moment now to connect. You want your. Yoruba friend, you went to school, you have a Yoruba teacher. You thank God for Yoruba. Praise God. Are we thanking the Lord? All right. Do we have, are we ready? Oluwa, Toby, or is which one? Are you ready for this? Come on. Push your hands in the air. Push your hands in the air. Push your hands in the people so much. Amen. Thank God for Yoruba people. God will bless the Yoruba and the whole Nigeria land in the name of Jesus. Amen. We are speaking a blessing at the same time as we are thanking the Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you brother. You can drop it. Alright, next one. Alright, let us transition to Sierra Leone. Can we make some noise for Sierra Leone in the house? Chief Mrs. Vinda is representing the Sierra Leoneans. So all the Sierra Leoneans, you just follow. And all those friends, and friends of Sierra Leoneans connect husband to Sierra Leonean. Those that aspire to marry your as, as Sierra Leoneans, this is your point to connect yourself to the land at once. Amen. People are not shouting amen. Amen. Are they playing or are they playing from the back? 
Or they are playing from here. They are just... They are playing... Keyboard is he can can play for us very well. Amen. Let's celebrate God once again. All right, let's celebrate. God bless Sierra Leone in Jesus' name. Amen. As we are amen. representing, we are speaking the blessing over it. Amen. Amen. Now we are going to welcome our brothers from Congo this morning. Our Celebrate people who Congo. speak a wonderful language, which I love so much, the Lingala. I want to hear a song in Lingala, please, so that we can dance and celebrate God. They have a unique way of dancing, and we want to tap from that grace. Amen. Please, Congolese, come forward, come forward. name of Jesus. All the Congo. Congo, Brazzaville. Cong you know there are so many Congo. Democratic Republic. Only two. Brazzaville and Kinshasa. Okay. Alright. God bless all. In Jesus name. Yes. God will bless them. Alright. Let's move forward. The Yaounde. Oh yes, 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 sir. You are in the spirit. So we want to move on to Yaounde, the center region. When Yaounde is breathing, Cameroon is breathing. Please let the Yaounde people come forward. Amen. Amen. Let us join them. All Every those married to Yaounde. <laughs> Lived in Yaounde. Lived born in Yaounde. in Yaounde. Yes, yes. Go to Yaounde to do documents. <laughs> All those by one way or the other, you got a visa from Yaounde. Yeah. <laughs> 
You school in Yaoundé. Your passport came out from Yaoundé. Your ID card. So your life is connected to. So come and support Yaoundé and thank God for Yaoundé. Praise God. Come and thank God for. All right. I think now they have the. Oh. All right. Please, whoever is there, be nice. Hallelujah. You know, it's not easy. I have worked in media, so I can tell you how much pressure it is. And especially when they are needing some things urgently. You can't confuse. So let's just leave them, take their time and give the best one for your own day. What you should be doing now is to take your envelope and make it to be full. And thank God for your own day. Praise God. So you should take your word, envelope, make it to be all those born in Yaounde, all those married to Yaounde, God visa from Yaounde, passport from Yaounde, ID card from Yaounde, school in Yaounde, board plot, plot, uh, plot in Yaounde. <laughs> so you see, all those wanting to be house in Yaounde. Come and thank God for the land. So the land will not fight you. Amen? Amen. Praise, Praise God. God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Celebrate Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Maria Tojo, the day. don't People, please come forward.
Amen and amen. Can we clap for them one more time? Now we want to welcome the Bakweri people. Bakweri, Bakweri in the house. If you grew up in Boya, or in fact, if you, are, if you grew up in the Southwest, just run forward now. Everybody from the Southwest, just come forward. Bakweri, please, can we make some noise? Yes, who is the chief in charge of Bakweri people? Please come forward. Sister Lydia, can we make some noise? For Chief Mrs. Lydia. His Royal Highness, Chief Robert Esuka Mdeli, Chief Esuka Matias, Ejo Tuke Oka. Mola Ste Nyoki Na Ia Juan Eusi. Oh my God. Si Wanjo Komande Me Hoi. Make some noise for backward people one more time. Amen and amen. There are people full of so much energy. Amen. All right, with that said, is it okay if we transition to the land of hardworking people? It's a, we, they, they are referred to the engine when it comes to hardworking people in Cameroon. People from the grass field, can I hear you make some noise? They are a people of integrity. Yes, yes, yes. A very determined people. They, they stand out amongst their peers. Can we celebrate the Northwesterners in the house? Without any further ado, I want us to commence with the Awing and the Akum people combined together. Can we make some noise for Awing and Akum people? Then Gembas in general, amen. Yes, then Gembas in general. So we speak similar languages. So if we can come together, we will make some noise in this place. Amen. So if you know you identify with Ngemba people, please rush forward, rush forward, let us. Please, everybody, man, woman, child, babies, from, let's come forward, please, come forward, come forward, come forward. My Awing. Uh, where is some, uh, uh, Mama Merens? We are waiting for you to tune song. And hallelujah. 
fenda mbose Alleluia fenda Alleluia fenda Alleluia fenda Alleluia fenda Alleluia fenda mbose Alleluia fenda Alleluia fenda Alleluia fenda have been prayed for and all the people I mean pastor have prayed for you did not support <laughs> they are blessing I will learn you are not promoting I will pastor God is watching hallelujah friend that means we give thanks to God amen so just for those of us who don't understand what we are saying back when people dance here we did not hear what they said I'm interpreting my own. It means, Father, thank you. Amen and amen. All right, can we celebrate and gamble people one more time? Amen and amen. So we are going to move on to the, uh, the, the, no, no, no. We are going to do, somebody make noise for the meta people. Do we have meta people in this house? Meta and Batibosh. Now we are talking, no, no, not Batibosha. We, when we talk about meta people in Gi and in Jikwas, will join as well. If you are from G, the whole Mogamo just come for the sake of time. Okay, yes, okay, let us do the Mogamo family. The Mogamo, the whole church just come out. The Batibo, the Odeba. <laughs> no space. There are no space. Okay, let's do Meta. Okay, let us do Meta to begin with. Huh? Please, but then Giz and then Jikwas, you can include in that. Amen. Please let us let us do that quickly. We don't have much time on our side.
Make some noise and celebrate the meta people. Amen. Amen and amen. All the batibo. No, sir, you know, why we were in primary school, please, it's a joke. Let nobody take it too serious. <laughs> why we were in primary school, they used to teach us in history that um, uh, who discovered a zero to India, they say Vasco da Gama. I heard somebody say that they were wasting our time. They would have just told us who discovered the bush road to America. <laughs> Can we make some noise for the Batibo people? <laughs> Batibo people, come forward. Make some noise. I am proudly Batibo. Please come forward. Let us celebrate. Then Bessie, all the Guzan, everybody come Mogamo, forward. Mogamo, Mogamo, Mogamo. Mogamo. All the Mogamo. Oh, one, oh, one more time. time. Hello. Hello. Body Bob people in the house. Oh, yeah. yeah. One chance is two chances in the house. Oh, yeah. We are blessed. 
And we are proud to say we are from Batibo. Anything that you do, you call Batibo in this house. Half of three quarter of Dunamis is from Batibo. Hallelujah. And this morning we are so blessed that we have engineers from Batibo in this house. We have IT gurus Doctors. from Batibo in this house. We have men and women of God from Batibo in this house. And because we are so blessed and we are blessed people, we will do this different. Because we have financial magnets from Batibo land, we are going to shake this place. If I call your name, please take an envelope and give a special offering. Brother Julius, lead the line. That's a... Uh, to That's celebrate, play, 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 play well for the Batibo. Celebrate people. Brother Julius as he's coming. Celebrate him. Oh, yes. He's a seasoned relator from Batibo. Oh, yes. Celebrate him. Brother Celestine. You see, Batibo, follow, they are follow, not follow. just talking, they are acting. Oh, oh, yeah. Celebrate follow. God for Batibo. He's hey. a seasoned engineer in Baumet. Uh huh. Hey. As we are going, Brother Bello. Hey. Come on now. Come on now. The youngest millionaire coming up. Hey. Get this envelope from me. We are from Batibo. We are blessed. We do it this friend. Young millionaire Brandon, take it. Amen. Join the crew, join the Celebrate the Batibo. Hey. Hey. Ah. Our big brother in the house. We cannot miss you, Papa Manager. Amen. Take it. We are representing Batibo in this house. Batibo in the house. Ah, 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 ah. My brother right there, just come on now, come on. Ramsey, Ramsey, brother Ramsey. And the designer, Ramsey, all of them. Ramsey! The guy is speaking for Batibo. Oh, you see yes. what got in the life of brother Ramsey last week? Uh -huh. Brother, celebrate God. Amen. Uh, the highest fashion designer, take it, King Mo. You cannot hey. be missed. Aha. Uh -huh. And all the young girls that have been looking at all the Batibo boys, I've been seeing you all. <laughs> but I'm you cannot miss Batibo, support us. Sister Helen, support Batibo. Hey. If you are married to Batibo. If you, if you are looking at a swagalicious man from Batibo, just come. Who want to support Batibo? This is free we. Who want to support Batibo? Thank you, Mama. God bless you. Double portion Amen. anointing. Thank you. Celebrate Batibo people in the house. Hey. To avoid media problem. Next year, every this is prepare with the instrumentalist so that you will give your heart praise and worship time. Or praise God. All right, our party board they are doing action. Let's give a hand of applause for them. Musicians, play for me. Tina, where were you? So, Tina, hey, choir. In church today they've talked that's why i discovered people are very particular you know one time i told you people here that the strength of the Catholic church is giving the people let them worship god the way they want to the Catholic church has a secret they come they don't sing your song do that but the father will do the one that has to be done you, that's why you see in the service they will sing a window they will sing this because it's a secret because People love to identify from where 
they come from. No matter the spirituality and the tongues, after that, you go to family meeting, you go to tribal meeting. Because it is normal to say you want to relate with your, with your people. So, do you know, many pastors will say there's no need, there's need though, to allow the people worship God from where they are coming. All right, right now, one of the biggest tribes in the entire world. They want to come up. So everybody stand up. You see, Pastor Man, let's stand up. Let's be on our, the biggest tribe in the whole world. When, when we talk, no one else can talk. When we act, no one else can act. They have produced all kinds of people. Are you not seeing the evidence? Are you not seeing the evidence? Praise God. Give a shout to the public people. Give a shout. Is it one second? Wait, 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 wait. Wait, yeah, wait, don't hurry to give the song. Just pause. Thank you. In every way we come, even if we decide to clap hand, it's going to be nice. Because what we represent is precious. Praise God. So I want everyone, help my people, give me a whole packet of envelope. Because everybody, you see, they cannot, um, um, Batibo cannot beat us in this church. You see, this, this is a, come. How many years have you been in your profession? More than 40. More than 40 years. This is a technician, an engineer, a designer, a fashionista for more than 40 years. Yeah. Celebrate God. Yeah. So you need to make this envelope to showcase that indeed you are a family man. Oh, yes. Huh? Yes. You see, if you walk in Asia, if you know Douala and Sien route, you see that Rolea Palace Hotel, there is this man that has it. So give like, you should represent what you represent. Celebrate God for him. Everybody needs to take envelope and support me. If not, after this service, no prayer. Give me more envelope. It looks like you guys... Praise God. Hallelujah. Because if you want to move me to pray or celebrate my people. <laughs> but people cannot pass me today. You know, my, my, my ministry started in Batibo. Oh, yes. Some of you sure. don't know. My ministry started from Batibo. When I was in the university, some of you don't know that I know Batibo villages more than some people. Have I given okay. So all my people must celebrate. Can I get paid? Batibo people say if they overtake them. Again. Praise God. Hallelujah. We'll do this, will not be long again. Please don't just bear with me a little bit. I'm seeing a lot of people are going to look down my eye again. Hey, mama. Brother, how are you? Special, okay, then take this special one for me now. <laughs> Hallelujah. Aha, uh -huh. you see. Celebrate God for this, my mother. See, she came to collect that envelope specially. Praise God. If you need indicate and support, make sure you take from me. Because it's not just envelope, it's mantle. Hey, wow.
move forward. Even if you don't have an envelope, just come. Amen? All right. All right. Who is holding the bow? Okay, they are coming from that direction. Can we celebrate God? You see how organized we are. All right. All right. Please mute, mute, mute. Come. All right. The Bamle people want to say something for two minutes. Yes. Praise the Lord. Please, I want to make a small history. We have been hearing about the Bamleki people. The Bamleki people is one of the greatest tribe in this world. In this world. Because they used to say the Bamlekes are one of the 12 tribes of Israel. Yes. Yes. When they were in Egypt, Moses did not take everybody to Israel. Some of them went down to Sudan, Ethiopia. And so migrated up to where we are today. By then, there was no name called Cameroon. No, there was no Cameroon. Is there. No, the Spanish. The Spaniel who came and put that name Cameroon. The Portuguese, sorry, the Portuguese. So, the Bamli case, one of the people who migrated from the east to where they are today. Yes, so. And in particular, our Bati, they are called Bati, meaning push pull people. Ah. Push pull. Yes. They push, push, push on to where they are today. Oh, yeah. And they, when they reached there, they met a certain tribe, the Bali people were there. They fought them and drive them to where they, <laughs> and settle where Bati is today. Yes. yes and we call Banka, say light. Light. light, light. So you see, all over us is light. Celebrate God. We want to show now that we are people of authority. Celebrate God. Please, over to media. Be on our feet. We'll just dance this and celebrate for everyone. Please, if we did not call your specific tribe, just join this one, please, and come. Amen.
Jesus mighty name. Can we be on our feet and just lift up our hands still in expectation and thank the Lord for such an encounter. Thank the Lord for such an encounter. Thank the Lord. I don't know if you, you sense what God is doing here. Making our hearts to merry. Because when our hearts are merry then we can receive whatever the Lord has for us. And I believe God that the spirit of the Lord is here and right now great things are about to happen. So wherever you are right now, give the Lord a, 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 a praise of your lips. This is Easter Sunday. We are not going to let our mouths be short, but rather open our mouths and give God an expression of how much we, 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 we are expectant. How much we just long to see his glory and his power. Lift up your voice wherever people of the Lord. Please don't be tired wherever you are. Trust the Lord for something this moment and this hour. Kila mako shepalatia. Saya na kote. Ipaliko shepa. Thank you, Jesus. Yumani sun teremo tereme. Bali intara mama man sun tereme go. Parato, parato, parato. He's in Tibili Sotoromosha Palea Tecos and Let the Lord hear your voice this morning. Mighty man of war, Lion of Judah, we bow down and worship you. Yahweh, Yahweh, come and do, come and do what only, what only you can do. Can you sing it again? Say, mighty, mighty man of war, say, Lion of Judah, Lion of Judah, we bow down, we bow down and worship and you.
consuming fire I worship you today you are the all-consuming fire come and manifest yourself consuming fire I worship you today you are the all-consuming fire come and manifest yourself say consuming fire consuming fire Rabba, 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 Rabba,
Victory, Lord, come and manage. Set my heart on fire, make me a shining light. Set my soul on fire, manifest yourself through me, Lord. Speak through my eyes, hey. see through my eyes. Oh God, you are the all-consuming fire. Come and manifest yourself. Speak through my mouth, Lord. See through my eyes. Come and manifest yourself. Sister, sister, little sister in the middle there, come. That come. That one right there. Yes, that come. Baba, open the heavens over me. Ah! Hey! Open he heavens open heavens. Baba, open the heavens over me. See, open heavens. Sister, the hand of the Lord is upon you. It's upon you. The Lord says he's taking away that evil. And he's putting a light upon your life. I saw evil cloud all, all around you. But I saw the Lord taking the weight of that evil from you. Touch power. Take care of her. The power of God is upon her. I infuse it by the it. It. As I'm laying my hands upon her, he got here. The Lord said, We we'll pray for you hear me. As I laid my hands upon you, the Lord said we should pray because I saw a, a, a young man. I saw a young man, and I saw in the realm of the spirit that something has happened in the realm of the spirit. I saw one, I saw two, I saw three. I saw this guy connected to one, two, three, four, four, five friends. And three of the friends, like it's like something happened. And three of the friends have gone to a place. And they have mentioned his name. And there's a spell that they've done upon the young man that I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit. And the Lord opened my eyes. I saw in the spirit realm, I heard the name Clovis. I saw, you hear what I'm saying? Clovis, you know that name? My younger brother. Your younger brother. I Amen. saw that and the Lord said we should pray because I saw evil against him. I saw it like a cloud all over your family and the Lord said we must take it away Amen. because it is an evil that I, oh Shabaka Faga. Hallelujah. We spoke about this? Eh? No sir. I saw oh because if we don't pray I swear I saw is madness. It's madness. 
It's my, the Lord opened my eyes. I saw clothes. I oh, sha. But God will take away the spirit of madness back to the sender. Amen. It looks like I'm in this service on my own. Amen. I mean, see, let me tell you this this time for me to be here is very crucial. And if we are praying, please be in expectation. Amen. Spirit of God. I have heard what the enemy has planned. Amen. And I command this family loose and free. Amen. That the plan of the enemy. Oh, shall touch stand up your mother will not cry yes. you hear me yes. your mother will not cry yes. neither will she also die Amen. God will keep your mother Amen. and God will keep your brother Amen. because I saw your mother and I saw four children behind her you hear what I'm saying I saw like three boys you hear what I'm saying and I saw that the Lord is, 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 is freeing your family from every spirit of death. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Because I saw you as a girl standing, but I saw three other boys on the side. You hear what I'm saying? Yes, sir. I saw you as, I don't know, are you the only girl of your mother? The only girl? Yes, sir. The only girl? Yes, sir. Hallelujah. I declare by the power of the Holy Ghost your family is free Amen. from the center of evil Amen. and I command that this year may every spirit of obituary be cancelled from your family Amen. Yes. Lift up your hands Thank you, Jesus. Oh, you. It's you that is in a Oh, 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 oh. There's somebody God is averting from losing money. Amen. From losing money. Amen. I saw money. I saw money. Somebody is about to lose, lost money. But God is averting the plan of that. Amen. I don't know, but the Lord keep ministering to me to pray for somebody with like a name called I don't know if this is a Ignatius or Ignatius or Ignatius. And I saw, it's your name? You are Ignatius? Come. Hallelujah. Have me and you ever met and discussed? No. All right, can I pray for you? All right. Because I want to pray because God is, oh, Shahe Kafa. Ebenezer, Ebenezer. Oh, man, oh, man. 
Hallelujah. Because spiritually I saw money want to come, but money is delaying. That's true. It's delayed. But God says we should release things to you. Amen. Because you are about to enter the next phase of your life. Amen. Ebenezer. 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 Say, my soul of love, only you are my helper. I don't know who is Techa. Is it? I don't. Am I not pronounce it well? Your father's name. Hallelujah. Because God said to me. What is against your father? We should cause it from your life. Because I saw you, I saw you, I saw one, I saw two, I saw, I saw three males. God said we must cancel this spirit from them. Amen. And I will stand with you, and God will deliver the other two. Amen. And as this happens, the yoke shall be broken. Amen. 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 I pray for one more person and close, please. Today is Easter Sunday. It's imperative that I go and rest. And, eh? Oh, I promise to pray for women today. Yes! yes. Trouble. Yes. You see, I was from last week. I even put it on a good day. Your friend introduced you. Together. You came together. Yes. Who is the friend? Oh, this is the one invited you. Come. You see, it's a first time too. Yeah, first time I invited first time. Hey, Spirit of evangelism. When I call you, you answer me. When I am down low. It's our first time too. Can I pray for you? Yes, yes, man, I will. All right, let's pray. Amen. You are bigger than what people say, Jehovah. Bigger than what people say. You are bigger than what people say, Jehovah. Bigger than what people say.
to be able to help you as God gives me direction. You know, because I told her, I said, the Lord said we should, God, the Lord said, that's why I ask you, yeah, I said, the Lord says we should pray for what? Mary. For Mary. And she said to those, and nobody is Mary. Nobody, she forgot her mother's name. Eh? I did not forget. You, you did not forget her. But you said nobody is Mary now. You were, oh, sorry, sorry. She was shy. It's okay, it's okay. Don't worry. Um, it's okay. Don't be ashamed, man. Just focus on me. Don't focus on these people. Just focus on God visiting your life. Yeah, that's, that's the reason I'm here trying to pray for you. It's just that God will step in and visit you. You hear me? You know, huh? We've been in a meeting together. Huh? We're in the same meeting. The same meeting? Yes, together. Okay. Because good news is coming to her. Amen. Amen. You hear what I'm saying? Amen. Because what I saw, God hasn't spoken to me yet. He only showed me documents. And I saw the documents disappeared. Like, I saw file of documents. You know how they put documents in a file? Or would they say folder? In a folder, and all of a sudden, I'm looking, I'm not seeing the documents again. You hear what I'm saying? But yes, God will help you. God. God will help you. Amen. I don't know what is it. God is not, he showed me that. He's not saying anything again. But I want to pray. I will just keep praying. It's well. Because God has visited you and blessed you, God will bless her.
Valerie, God will help you. Amen. God will help you. Amen. That's our name. That's our name. God will help you. Amen. God says he will help you. Amen. I saw some things used to attack your heart. Don't be scared of these people. Forget about them. Right now, focus on you and God. You get what I'm saying? I saw something will used to attack your heart. Sometimes, how will I explain this? You'll be feeling like, what is happening to me? Your heart will be beating so fast, like it's like your heart wants to come out. Yeah, eh? yeah, yeah, it's true. I used to feel it. You feel it because <laughs> Hallelujah. God is freeing you from a spirit that is after your life. And the Lord said, I should tell you today, as I have anointed your hands. Nothing will fail in your hands again. Amen. I saw you receiving a car. Amen. You hear what I'm saying? Yes, man, okay. I don't know whether you have a car now or what car you drive or what, but I saw you receiving a car. Amen. Amen. I have a car. You have a car, but I'm seeing a different car. Amen. Because God is upgrading your life. Amen. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. I don't know what connection you have to do with the number three. I keep praying God shows me the number three. I don't know what connection you have to do with it, but I keep praying, I keep seeing the number three. Three, three. You hear what I'm saying? Yes, ma'am. Father, in the name of Jesus, I declare the blessing you are releasing for her this morning is confirmed. Touch is done. God bless you. Amen. God bless you. Hallelujah. God. Give the Lord a praise. God bless them. Hallelujah. Sister, come. It is well with you. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Clap those hands to the Lord. Amen. Last thing before I close, praise God. Hallelujah. Yes, it's, it's an amazing service already. And God is doing great things again and again. We had an amazing program throughout the week. If you were not there, you really missed. Throughout the week was amazing. Those that were here, God terminating afflictions over the years. 30 years affliction, God terminated. Great, incredible miracles. We saw over the week. And we are here just to say thank you, Lord. Within the week, the Lord gave us a word for people who are ready to step into a next level. And I said, when you are ready to step into the next level, you tell yourself, I'm ready for anything. Ready to take that move by faith. Ready to take that move by faith. We started, a lot of people have done it, and I'm trusting the Lord mightily for great blessings for them. And I want to encourage you this morning. Maybe you are just joining this morning. The Bible says, and the woman in 2 Kings chapter number 6, or verse number 9, it says, The woman, when she met the prophet, she said, I pray. He's a man of God. He told the husband, He says, Come, let us make room for him. Keeping him, feeding him. And later on, the man of God prayed for him. They were looking for a child for many years. After that encounter, they received a child. So that is to tell you that the anointing, when or not, produces miracles. I am trusting God for people to move into the next level. If I tell you my life, my life is a testimony. And I, every day I keep thanking God for grace. I keep thanking God for grace. I tell you people that if you carry me now and put me in Afghanistan, I will still succeed. Not because of knowledge, but because of grace. Because the same God who is faithful in Maryland can be faithful everywhere. Everywhere I've gone to, I've seen God at work. And I want to pray with somebody this morning. Those of you who came ready already, I don't need to talk too much. Come to me quickly. We are closing. In less than 10 minutes, I'll be done. If you heard what we said over the week and you were not ready, but you're ready today, 
to say, Lord, I'm making this commitment with you. I'm just giving you that opportunity, the next five minutes to do that and be out of your way. Amen? Yes. A lot to be done. So please, if you're coming, rush to me with whatever the Lord has put in your heart or somebody to honor God with. Come to me. Those of you who are ready, come. Don't be ashamed. I don't know why, please get me the bottle for. I don't know why some people are so much ashamed. Don't be ashamed. Take the step for your next level. Take the step by faith and come for your next level. I made it up. Please make sure you do it first before you come. Bring me the cedars. Please, you guys work well. Get me the stage out of the way. Who fed it? It, can you get someone help me quickly? Get this out of the way for me for a moment. Get that free. Let me just have some more space. Yes, bring the chair right here. Thank you. It's okay. No, 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 no. Yes, bring, bring. Yes, you know that. What we did through the week. On you. All right, quickly for those that are coming. It's a next level. I'm trusting God. That's all. Thank you, Holy Ghost. This morning I woke up. The Lord spoke a strong word to me. Very strong word. And every time God says that, it's because he wants to prove my love for him. All right, sister, come. Mama, come. Mama came. Oh, mama. Celebrate God for mama. Mama, sit for your next level. See, mama is feeling strong today. Oh, celebrate Master Jesus. Mama is not having the ache again this morning. Stand up, mama. Hello. You saw her, how she was struggling on Friday? You see her today? See, take it, mama, for your next level. God bless you. Go. Your next level is confirmed. Drop your seat. All right. Come, brother. You done it? Touch the altar before you sit for your next level. Sit comfortably for your next level. For what you are believing God. Wake up. Sit now again comfortably for that next level God is giving you. Receive it. Congratulations. Congratulations. Drop it on the altar first. Whatever if your envelope, drop it. Touch the altar. Sit as God enthroned you for your next level. It's Easter. So this kind of prayer is very essential. As you celebrate Easter, stand up. Sit again. Congratulations. And wait your testimony. Wait your testimony. If you want to swipe your card, swipe it and come. I'll pray with you in a moment, really fast, and I'll be done to go. Please let me tell you, never minimize spiritual things. Never. I'll put it on the altar. Make sure you drop it on the altar. He spoke powerful messages. One day God told me, he said, this thing is not the message. Is the sacrifice. Because there are times that what makes the make it message to stick in you is the sacrifice you have put. Thank you. Stand up. Sit for your next level. Congratulations. It is done. Well, you know, you know me, I always tell you people the way it is. Some of the things. Sometimes I'm not superhuman for some things. The Lord says some words to me. Sometimes it's hard. Congratulations, sit for the news level. Stand up. Sit again. Oof, touch. Stand up, sister. I saw something being broken. I saw something being broken. The Lord says he has taken away failure out of our life. Every spirit of failure is broken. Amen. The Lord says, sister, he has released the spirit of failure from you. Amen. Because I saw one, I saw two times. But the Lord says it's over. It's over. Amen. I saw the Lord says he's giving you that favor you desire. Amen. Because I saw the failure the first time, I saw it the second time. And the Lord says, now you will not see it again. Amen. Touch. Take. Take. Hold on for me. Two people. Can we get somebody with the, with the Lord? Pass. Be useful. Touch. 
na 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 say holy 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 congratulations sister come next person holy 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 is the lord drop it on the altar because you are holy come and see god bless you holy 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 sit again god i'll show you to your next say you are holy Holy, come, holy, drop what you holy, 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 God honor you, sir. Stand up. Holy, congratulations for your next level. Is that your wife? Oh wow! You are come, mama, holy, come. Holy, 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 holy. Just be on the side first. Let me finish with these other people. Holy is the Drop it on you. Say you are holy. Holy. Stand up. Holy, holy, Congratulations for your next level. Holy. 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 holy, 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 holy Say you are holy. holy Stand up. Holy, Congratulations for your next level. Holy. One time, come sit again. Holy, 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 sit again. God bless you. Holy is the Lord. Say you are holy. Holy. Congratulations. Sit holy, again for your next level. Holy, it is done. Holy, 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 holy. holy. Say you holy. holy. Bless you. Holy is the Lord. God bless you. For your next level. Congratulations. Holy, 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 holy is the Lord. Say you are Sit again. It is holy, holy, Congratulations holy, for your next level. Holy, 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 holy is the Lord. Sit again. Congratulations for your next level. Holy, Shake holy, holy, it is holy, 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 holy is the Lord. Say you are holy. God bless you. Congratulations. Holy, 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 holy. Put it on the altar. Holy, holy. It is done. Jesus name. Holy, you are holy. Holy, holy, holy. Stand up, mama. Holy, 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 holy. Holy, congratulations. Holy.
well with your family. I speak preservation. I speak preservation. Sir, the Lord said I should pray for you. He will cover you. They have gathered against you, but God says he will preserve you. Amen. Mama, how is your daughter? She's fine. Which one are you talking of? Eh, sir, which one did you came to your mind? Eh? Delphine. Delphine. The one we prayed for. She's feeling fine. Yes, she's okay. She got back. She could hear through the ears. in the weekend. That's why she did not come. Okay, travail le weekend, c'est pour ça qu'elle n'a pas venu. Okay, make sure let her come. You hear me? She watch on TV. Yes, let her come in person. The when she's available. The weekend that she's free. I pray that God will give her a better job that will get her free. Amen. Because she needs, she has a great destiny. This child of yours has a great destiny. And that's why they are fighting her. Because it's not just a hearing they fought. They even fought her eyes. Her eyes. There's you. But the Lord is fighting for her. And that's why she has to be strong with the Lord. Because as she will be strong with the Lord, the Lord will fight for her. And everything will take a new step. Amen. You will need to pray for your life. Because there is an association in the spirit realm that the enemy is trying to associate you with, which is with dead people. The Yankees are more. Qui sont morts. It's an association of dead people God is separating you from. Amen. Amen. It is done. Amen. From this day today, it's going to be over. Amen. Parce que dans, dans ton rêve, tu vois les gens qui sont morts. Ils viennent. Voir, c'est comme si tu es dans les réunions, dans les gens qui sont morts. Aujourd'hui, Dieu t'a séparé. Amen. Au nom puissant de Jésus. God bless you. Congratulations. Amen. Go. Begin to come to church. Yeah? yeah? So that we'll be praying for you because one day prayer is not enough. Un jour de prière, ce n'est pas suffisant. Oui, on va continuer à prier, prier jusqu'à Dieu va complètement délivrer. Amen. Dieu te bénit. We need church service for this church at least six hours. God bless you. I love your suit. You're looking good today. Thank you. You know, the man came last week. He saw Amen. suit like this. He said, no, this week is coming prepared. Answer. Amen. Yeah, my man. Hallelujah. You know, so, you know, one guy came to our church one time. And he preached. He went back. He watched that preaching for like two weeks. He didn't come to church again. He washed. He said the thing baffled him. The way I just speak with confidence, I call people's information with confidence. Sometimes I even argue the information with them. He said, he was looking. He said, this man is not normal. He cannot be beside such people. God is doing a miracle for you. Get ready for good news. Amen. It is well. Amen. God bless you. Congratulations. Hallelujah. Sister, it's over. Congratulations. In Jesus' name. Amen. I promise to give your sister money. Come to me. This one. I promise to give your sister money. So, um, after the service, make sure I, I do what the Lord commanded me to do quickly. I don't like, when God speaks to me to give, I don't like to delay. Because I'm delaying my blessings. I'm delaying what God wants to do. I woke up this morning, the Lord told me a seed that I have to sow to my spiritual father. I put my two hands on my head. I said, hey, it's trouble. Because it's good. But I told you, when I woke up today, as I woke up, I, I turned to look at my phone, to look at the time. It dawned on me to pray. So I prayed. And he told me, asked me again, he says, do you love me? Ooh. I said, it has come. 
I was thinking of who he said to me. Honor your father. I said, ah. See, don't have a spiritual father you don't honor. That you are not ready to sacrifice whatever God will ask of you. Praise God. Any man you call your spiritual father that you don't have the capacity to honor that man is your friend, is not your father. Because whatever capacity God will tell you to honor, you should be good to do what? To honor. And God will bless each and every one of you in this service. Amen. Your lives will never be the same again. Amen. Let's stand up and release the prayer of the week and we'll be closing. Thank you so much for your patience. It is well with you. Amen. Oh, this morning we are blessed to have a whole ministry worship with us today. Can we celebrate God for them? Amen. So, so the name of the ministry again is well. Joseph Israel Ministries. They were led by God to just worship with us this morning in our Hallelujah. Service. And I, my prayer goes with them that the Lord will establish them. Amen. The Lord will send help to them. Amen. That all the desire in this season and next, the Lord shall provide it. Amen. Help us for the work will come. Amen. The heavens will open beyond measures. Amen. That the God who has opened up the land for us will open the land for you. Amen. It is well with the ministry. Amen. It is well with your family. Amen. It is well with your life. Amen. Divine direction will be your portion continually. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Celebrate God for them. We don't have so much time. I'm trying. We're already at 1 to 19. I need to close. But I am grateful to the Lord. For everything the Lord has done, I'm grateful. Throughout the week, Father, take all the glory and prove to the Lord, the devil, that you are the master. For there is no other like you. We thank you for this encounter. Thank you for a successful cultural Sunday. Thank you for our successful Easter service. Thank you for all you have done. I vow not to take the glory, but to ascribe all glory to you alone. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. It is done. Give God a hand clap, somebody. I saw somebody like a Josephine with a back issue. Back. God is healing that person. Josephine. If you have pictures, lift it, wave it to God. Pictures. I'm not praying to prophesy, but I want to pray for all the people you brought pictures. And that's all. That'll be all. This week will be a good week. Amen. Blessings on every side. Amen. Favor on every side. Amen. Wherever your documents are, let it be released. Amen. This week, go and possess your possession. Amen. This week, go and take back what the devil took from you. Amen. It is well with you. Where with your family. Amen. Congratulations. Amen. In Jesus' name, I pray for your loved ones. Every one of those pictures, let blessings rest on them. Let favor rest on them. Amen. Let increase rest on them. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Congratulations. Congratulations. It is well with you. Happy, happy, happy Easter. God bless you, sir. God bless you. Women prayer. God bless you. Women prayer. All right, women, lift up your hands. You know, the women are so many, I can't call all in front. We don't even have space. But if you're a woman, just be on your feet. Lift up your hands. Father, bless them. All women of Dunamis, the Lord will bless you. For standing by this walk. For standing with me, a servant. Let God stand by you. Stand by your children. Stand by your family. Stand by your life. May it be well with you. May it be well with your family. May you be a light that will shine in every season. In the name of Jesus. You will do great things for God. In Jesus' name. Clap those hands to the Lord. God bless all the women. And God bless everyone. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless everyone. We'll hand over to Pastor Emmanuel. And Pastor Emmanuel will wrap up with us. Announcement of that.
So remember, service is on Tuesday, service is on Friday, and Tuesday and Friday, and Sunday next week, 9 a.m., you don't want to miss. God bless you. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. They say good things take time. Amen. If you want to appreciate your wife, allow her to enter that place and take time before she comes out. Amen. So in the same way, the way we are structured sometimes, we can delay because God is always moving. Hallelujah. Can somebody clap for Master Jesus yet again? All right, let us rise. We are just going to take our closing hymn even as we wrap up. Those of us who have cooked and want to invite hungry people like us, my, 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 my stomach is open for food. Amen. I know some of you are not hungry, but I am. All right, let us rise even as we wrap up the service. Wonderful, merciful Savior. Let's sing. Wonderful, merciful Savior, precious Redeemer and friend. Who would have taught say? Who would have taught that a lamb could rescue the souls of men? Counselor, Comforter, Keeper, Spirit, we long to embrace. You offer hope, say, you offer hope when our hearts are hopelessly lost away. Oh, we hopelessly lost away. Sing, Almighty. goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. It's our year of intimacy. Year of intimacy. God bless you. God bless you. Please, if you are a first time worshiper, we